Grandma. Today, I'm going to be reading Sideways Stories from Wayside School by Lewis Sacker. Let's begin. Chapter 10, Paul. Paul had the best seat in Mrs. Jewell's class. He sat in the back of the room. It was the seat farthest from Mrs. Jewell's. Mrs. Jewell's was teaching the class about fractions. She drew a picture of a pie on the blackboard. She cut the pie into eight pieces. She explained that each piece was one eighth of the pie. Paul never paid attention. He didn't see a picture of a pie. He didn't see anything. Well, he did see one thing. Well, actually he saw two things. Le uh, Leslie, uh, he saw Leslie's pigtails. Leslie sat in front of Paul. She had two long brown pigtails that reached all the way down to her waist. Paul saw those pigtails and a terrible urge came over him. He wanted to pull a pigtail. He wanted to wrap his fists around it and feel the hair between his fingers and just yank. He thought it would be uh, he thought it would also be fun to tie the pigtails together or better yet tie them to the chair, but most of all he just didn't want to pull one, most, but most of all, he just wanted to pull one. Slowly, he reached for one on the right. No, what am I doing, he thought. I'm, I'm only going to get in trouble. Paul had it made. Paul had it made. Uh, he sat in the back of the room. He paid no attention to anyone, and nobody paid attention to him. But if he pulled a pigtail, it would all be over. Leslie, Leslie would tell on him, and he'd be in the center of attention. He sighed and slowly withdrew his arm, and Paul couldn't ignore those pigtails. There they were, dangling right in front of him, just begging to be pulled. He, he could close his eyes, but he couldn't make the pigtails disappear. He could still smell them and hear them. He could almost taste them. Maybe just a little tug, he thought. No, none. No, I can't do that. There they were. There they were hung, easily within reach. Well, well, let me just hang there, thought Paul. It would just be foolish to pull one, no matter how tempting they were. None of the children in, 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 in the class pulled pigtails. Why should he? Of course, none of the other children sat behind Leslie either. It was just so simple. It was just a simple matter to be able to think clearly. That was all. Paul thought it over and decided not to pull one. It was as simple as that. Suddenly, his arm shot forward. He grabbed Leslie's pigtail and yanked. Yeah! screamed Leslie. Everyone looked at her. Paul pulled my pigtails, she said. They all looked at Paul. I, I, I couldn't help it, said Paul. You... You better learn to help it, said Mrs. Jules. She wrote Paul's name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Tell Leslie you're sorry. I'm sorry, Leslie, said Paul, <laughs> said Leslie. Paul felt horrible. Never again would he pull another pigtail, except there was one problem. He still wasn't satisfied. He had pulled the right one, but that wasn't enough. He wanted to pull the left one, too. If he... If what, it was as if he heard a little voice coming from the pigtail saying, Pull me, Paul, pull me. I can't, Paul answered. My name's already on the blackboard. Under the word discipline. Big deal, said the other pigtail. Pull me. No way, said Paul. Never again. Oh, come on, Paul, said the pigtail. Um, er, said the pigtail. Uh, what what harm could it do? Lots of harm, said Paul. Leslie will scream and I'll get in trouble again.
boy, that's not fair. Um, whined the pigtail. You pulled the right one, now it's my turn. I know, but I can't, said Paul. Sure you can, said the pigtail. Just grab me and yank. No, said Paul, it's not right. Sh uh, sure it is, Paul, said the pigtail. Pigtails are meant to be pulled. That's what, what I'm here for. Tell that to Leslie, said Paul. Leslie won't mind, said the pigtail. I promise. I bet, said Paul. Just like she didn't mind last time. You just didn't pull hard enough, said the pigtail. Leslie likes it when you pull us really hard. Really? asked Paul. Cross my heart, said the pigtail. The harder the better. Okay, said Paul. But if you're lying, I promise. Paul grabbed the left pigtail. Pigtail. It felt good in his hand. He pulled as hard as he could. <gasps> Screamed Leslie. Mrs. Po Mrs. Uh, Jules asked Paul, Did you pull Leslie's pigtails again? No, said Paul. I pulled the other one. All the children laughed. Are you trying to be funny? So asked Mrs. Jules. No, said Paul. I was trying to be fair. I couldn't pull one without pulling the other one. Um, the children laughed again. Pigtails are meant to be pulled, Paul, uh, Paul said. Mrs. Jules checked Paul's name on the blackboard under the word discipline. But Paul, but at last Paul was satisfied. True, his name was on the blackboard next to the next to sorry um true his name was on the blackboard which which a check next to it um but it really didn't matter all he had to do was stay out of trouble the rest of the day and his name would be erased it's easy to stay out of trouble when you have the best seat in the class in fact, Paul could do this every day. He could pull Leslie's pigtails twice. Then, then he could stay out of trouble for the rest of the day. There was nothing Leslie could do about it. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Leslie screamed, Yeah! Miss, Mrs. Jules uh, cried Paul's name and sent him home to be early on the kindergarten bus. No one believed Paul hadn't pulled like Le Leslie's pigtail again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, chapter. Be back for more. Bye-bye.